Doctor, are they in critical condition? It's much worse than that. They didn't watch this live on Twitch. Oh my god! Uh, sure. It looks fine. If it looks fine, I mean, Tomo Ragavan. It's probably all you need. I wonder if I'm supposed to turn to it to hold up the rebirth. Probably not. They're on the mold of five, so they're most likely like drawn or something. It isn't very often that a fair deck molds to five. So we'll see. Let's get Mark. There's no scam in this hand, you're right. But there is a Ragavan, which is like the ultimate scam. Hammer. Looks like Hammer. I just get the lily down. It's probably better to start taking this lily up, get cards out of their hand. Probably gonna edict something next turn. Blue. Oh, it's probably affinity then. It is affinity. I see. Well, I might spend a terminate on this. Yeah, I'm gonna tick up, discard the mountain. I'll spend a terminate in the tech. I'm gonna get cards out of their hand. Argavon's not very good against them, though. Sure. I cast the Desper Sentinel. So they're going to activate Urza Saga. I get to terminate that and then probably take up Lily. And it's true land, so that's the plan. Ship it. Hmm, so close. Being able to cast Urza. Bin's a top monitor. What they get? I might get like a Meb Knight. Needle for Lily. That makes sense. And let me draw. Sweet. Sweet. New bolt. I guess I should have waited until post combat to play the Dothi. In case I hit like another Urza or something. I don't even think I'd play the Urza here. Just because they get Aether Spell Bomb it. I did remove my upkeep stop. My upkeep stop's been gone for a while. I betrayed you. I'm sorry. Upkeep and draw step. Terminate. I betrayed you. Well, I probably can't kill both of these things. I'll let Ragavan die. I had seven. I don't know if that's the biggest of deals. Ah, oh, Chris. Ah, oh, Chris. Telling me that he wrote the music for Risk of Rain. Um, we listen to. I'll listen to that Delta Rune soundtrack. Yeah, Delta Rune remixes are the best. Two ships passing in the night. <laughs> one takes three, the other one takes one. Okay. Against Affinity, Hidetsugu, Engineered Explosives seem fine. What is this, immense lag? Hello? Okay. Alright. That's fine. Moto decided that I don't get the sideboard anymore. No, no, no. Pona on the DDoS. Alright, let's try that again. Hidetsugu. Magus, Engineered Explosives, Fatal Push, 
seems okay ish Dothy sucks, Nice Whisper sucks, Croaks sucks. They have a bunch of Aether spell bombs and whatnot to bounce it, so don't think it's very good in this matchup. I think Lily's probably bad as well. Gotta make two more cuts. Um I think Blood Moon's like somewhat necessary. I think I cut two Ragavan. Try something like that. Um no, they're probably gonna have one drop, like an Esper Sentinel. I don't think I can keep this hand. Very, very greedy. And this one scams. I will keep the one that scams. I wonder if I'm supposed to scam this Fury. Well, that answered that. I'm gonna scam the Grief. I can crack the Bloodstained Mire, get a Swamp, and then do it. You can pitch the Fatal Push. I think I pitched the Fatal Push. Itsugu seems powerful. Ingenious Smith Shadow Shadow Spirit Urza Saga Odawara. I will take Ingenious Smith and Urza. I will leave them with Shadow Spear and some other nonsense. I hate Itsugu should clean up the Urza Saga. So they have Odawara, Shadow Spear, Urza Saga. Seems like a not very good hand for them. Seems less than ideal. Beautiful. Fantastic draw. Thank you, smart guy. I appreciate that. It means a lot. A fantastical draw. Alright. You got my malice. Why I oughta... Have an Odawara. You have nothing I know about now. You left me in the dark. Left me on red. Put him in the dirt. I guess. What a good draw. Well, I need to cast something very powerful here. I love this moon art. Too bad it's like a million dollars in paper. Do I tell my opponent that this isn't good enough? I guess I do it by consuming. Mmm, delicious. Affinity and artifact decks in general, hammer, whatever it be, it's just such an easy matchup most of the time. As long as they don't kill you on like turn two, it's such an easy matchup. No land for the scam. Why well, they kept that hand? It was a fine hand before I stripped it. Yeah, I don't know, they were just hoping I'd scam them on turn one. I think this hand's like mediocre. Try it. What's the reason to split the Undying effects? So, I have it split two Undying Malice, one Feign Death, and one Undying Evil. Undying Evil is the worst one, but it does put the creature into play untapped. So, if you're facing down a turn one Raghavan and you have an Undying Evil Grief hand, you can actually put the Grief in as a 4 3 and block it. So, I, I'm just trying that out. Problem with Undying Evil is if it already has a counter, then you can't bring it back. And I split the Feign Deaths with the Undying Malice because of like Surgical Extraction type effects. Because they're functionally the same card. My Spyro. Why would you do that to my Spyro? Ooh, I can Thought Seize you now. Taking your expressive iteration. Give it to me. You have two? Two EIs. So many EIs. EI, EI, oh no. 
Oh no, bro. No one ever thought sees. Round the lock, expressive iteration, Ragavan, unholy heat. Take your second expressive iteration. I have to terminate the Ragavan. Hope they never draw another land. Yeah, yeah, no more. They're in a weird spot right now. They like want to hold up Drown the Lock, but at the same time, the longer that they wait on this Ragavan, the worse it's gonna get because I got Spyro tokens back here. So they're in kind of a weird spot right now. Bobbled themselves. I guess they want to see if they're drawing a land. Alright, well, hopefully I can draw like a Spyro, Fable, something good, something amazing. Terminate, that's fun. Stuff to buy me more time. I love Terminate, Terminate's so underrated. Death Beam. Bye bye, companion. I think I'll draw an expressive iteration. Death Beam. This is shaped up to be a really dumb game. <laughs> I know they have Heat Drown the Lock in their hand. Ooh, Fable. Ooh, piece of candy. Now let me get my infinite card advantage from Fable. I think my best draw here would be a Grief. Play a DRC. Second Fable? Well, I think, I think I'll take Second Fable. All day, every day, I'll take Second Fable. It's just more incremental card advantage. They gotta attack me, and I get to attack them back for four. They're probably gonna have to heat or drown one of these. I can dig myself into a removal spell or a fury. I'm currently winning the race here. Yeah, I'm winning the race. Ash is a Ragavan. Fascinating. I am still winning the race, right? These are just like incremental card advantage things waiting to pop. Plus, I got the Spyro things. Another hand's two spot removal spells, but if I find one spot removal spell of my own, they don't have Drown the Lock up. I think I'm advantaged here. Ooh, Grief. Nope. Take the drown. I fetched it thin. Um, in case they have bobble mostly, I'd rather deny them information out of the bobble. Take the cheaper spell, they can only cast one. This is like more versatile. This can stop things before they come down like Fury, whereas they can only cast one unholy heat at the moment, which I'm okay with. Fury's a really good draw. Any sort of spot removal would be a really good draw. Lily. Even Blood Moon would be a good draw. Maybe I should have taken... Nah, I think it's still right to take the Drown Lock. So I was thinking, maybe if I draw Blood Moon, then it makes taking the Unholy Heat better. Another Grief. I'm getting griefed right now. So they are super dead next turn. Out of a heat and a bobble, I think I'll take the heat. And they scooped. Okay, that went well. Um, against GDS, hearses. I think hit Sugus are fine against them. Fatal pushes are very good. Bothy's fine. Peep, what did I put on the sideboard? Good. What am I missing? 
two, two, two of the Dothi. I'm taking out four grief. Interesting. We'll see how this plays out. I'm taking out the four griefs. I don't know if I like super value scamming them in this matchup. I think I can just play like a fair mid range game against them and just deal with all their stuff. That yeah, Fury's great. How good is this deck versus Hammer? I have not lost a Hammer yet. Hammer feels like a ridiculously good matchup. Of course. I think I'm happy like taking a hit here if it means that I can scam them even harder. I like pitching Fury, rebirthing it, and taking out two of their threats potentially. I hope they just go like Ledger Shredder this turn. I think a Rogmon I probably have to bolt it though if they dash it. No, my Fury. My Fury. I doubt they take the lightning bolt, but they might take the lightning bolt and just attack me for three. Maybe I should have bolted in response. I probably should have bolted on response. And they take the terminate. I also don't think it's right to like ever leave thought season in this type of matchup. I'm gonna bolt this thing, so I'm gonna take a lot of damage from it if I don't bolt it. nothing yeah i feel like answering the threats in this matchup if i just like answer the ledger shredder answer their croaxas with hearses it's pretty hard to lose they're probably just sitting in hand with a bunch of like spot removal which this deck is fairly resilient to what would you like to take my fury you monster I think I win the long game here. I think. Still gonna leave one fetch for Bobble Shenanigans. That means I can fetch second Blood Crypt. Which is fine. I don't feel like their late game stuff is that impactful. The only card I really care about is Expressive Iteration. All right, Dothy, welcome to die. Welcome to immediately dying. Hallbreaker Horror in the sideboard of Blue White. That's for like creature decks, I imagine. Or just when you need something to close the game out because you're so low on time because you're always going to the red as a control player. One of the two. Good job, Dothy. You traded two for two. Proud of you. Let's see if my sideboard plan actually pans out here. I'm fine until they draw Kroxa. As soon as they draw Kroxa, I need to find my hearse. Why is Gigantha? Try to welcome a hidden Sugu here to clear the graveyard so I don't get drowned. Hearse would be nice. Blood Moon would be great. Explosives is. Let's deal with like one non Gigantha threat though. I'm fairly certain the only card I really care about is Kroxa. I can dodge croaks, I'll be okay. Don't croaks at me. I know I have two terminates, so this Gigantha's not long for this world. Goodbye, Gigantha. Death Ray. I'm gonna fetch out my last basic swamp. Actually, I'll fetch out Blood Crypt. Tapped. Another one. I feel like I can win this long game. But it's really tough to say for certain. Are you swinging? You are swinging. Terminate. Let's go. Hey, Pablo Cat, thank you for the follow. That's interesting. 
And Carmen, thank you as well. I think I'm just passing here. I don't really need to do anything. I don't need to push the initiative yet. Especially into a drown lock. And Limna. Limna? It's gotta be Limna. Thank you. Uh, the dreaded expressive iteration. Find some a bobble. Bird. I wonder if I'm supposed to take six here. Also fetching. Fetching that away. Am I supposed to take six? If I take six, then they can't play another shadow post-combat. Do I even think they have another shadow? Yeah, I'm just gonna pop it now. Whatever. And I'll have another shadow. Not in two cards. Terminate the bird, untap Spyro, draw a couple cards. Not before I dash this Rogamon. This Rogamon's not living, but it is good fodder. We're getting heated. Heated and deleted. Now I draw two. And we're at, we're at card parity again, which is fantastic. Not the best draws, though. I was actually thinking about playing like a second Croaks in the sideboard for matchups like this, where Croaks is just a house. But some decks like already bring in Relic and Hearse against me, so maybe it's not the best. I don't know what they have in hand. I'm not going to show them this other Rogervon. I'm going to leave it as a surprise to dash. Have a thought seize or something, but that's okay. Well, DRC is not very good for them. Surprise, motherfucker. Some fries, motherfucker. Eerie. Lightning bolt. I'm going to take the hit from the DRC. I might just be able to kill them. Two, four, seven. Also down 15 minutes on clock. Ooh, piece of candy. Wrong. This one. This is the card I want. Dash, Raghavan. Only the second best red one drop. Well, second best isn't good enough here. Push Raghavan. Drown Raghavan. I'm just gonna bolt this thing. Well. Nah, yeah, bolt him in the face. And this, this and this are lethal. That's how I envisioned the matchup going in my head when I wrote the sideboard guide. Zeriok was just like answer, 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 and eventually kill them on turn 13. But I wasn't sure. I'll keep this hand. It seems reasonable. Mono Blue Mill could live. Zeriok, it's your time to play Mono Blue Mill. I cannot stress that hard enough. It's your time to play Mono Blue Mill. Is it the same planning as Murktide? Murktide's kind of a variant of it. Against Murktide, I I bring in two Unlicensers, three Torok, two Fatal Push, and one Dothi. I side out two Blood Moon, three Thoughtsies, two Grief, one Dying Malice. I still leave two Griefs in against Murktide because they have counter spells. So it's a little bit different of a dynamic. Like Drown the Luck, I don't care that much about. I care more about um, counter spell and Archmage's Charm. I just don't like taking damage in the Murktide matchup from Thoughtseize because they can have aggressive draws where they go like turn one Raghavan or DRC and you're just sitting there with a the Thoughtseize in your hand you're like, uh. And they like curve out Ledger Shredder into like a fast Murktide and you're just dead before you know it. Just dead before you know it.
problem with Murktide is you can't thought seize a Murktide or an expressive iteration off the top, which is the only two cards you really care about in that matchup. So you gotta have a lot of answers for both of them. I'm probably just like dead here. Spell Pierce. Blood Moon's very bad against the Grixis variant of creativity. It's only good against the 4 and 5 color. Why do they discard Transmog? This must have creativity. I wouldn't have discarded Transmog if they didn't have it. Yeah. I'm so screwed unless I top deck terminate. Even if I top deck terminate, I'm still in like a rough spot here. Right. I think this matchup's quite poor. Let me see how I said I was going to sideboard for this. Engineered Explosives, hit it, Sugu. Torok, Dothi. One Spyro, one Kroxa. And I missed a card, Lily. You kind of have to scam them in this matchup, otherwise it's rough. Mm, no scam. Does it have an EE though, but no red mana? I'm gonna ship this hand. Seems weak. This hand only does one thing. 100% optimized third rate deck. I don't think it hers, I think Dothi's good enough. Alright, what are we working with? Aether Gust, Fable, Prismari, Command, Tainted Indulgence. Take the Fable. What else am I going to take? Probably... Prismari Command? Push just doesn't do anything. Like, what is Push looking to hit a token? No. You need to be attacking their hand more than anything. I think I take Prismari Command. I have two cards in their hand that are like kind of weak. Well, that was a fantastic draw. I'd like a free card. That sounds great to me. Hey, real gang star thing for the follow. I'm gonna make them Aether Gust this. I uh, didn't Aether Gust. Very surprised. No attack with crab, said the message. You mess with the crabby, you get the stabby. I'll attack with the crab next turn. Well, that went well. I guess I should bring in a couple of hearses over like a Fury, maybe. The Fury plus a Rebirth effect does kill an Archon, which is super nice. I cut Blood Moon for... I don't think I like Blood Moon against the Grixis one. I'm gonna bring in Torok, another hearse. I owe you Mono Blue Mill. How do I owe you Mono Blue Mill? Hold up. Match are we on? We're on match three, game three already. Sheesh. This hand is a very, very good fair hand. We're not attacking with the crab. Alright, let's we'll see if this fair hand's good enough against them. That's a really good draw. I don't think if I want to Thought Seize them. I think I Thought Seize them. Kaito Shizuki. Creativity. Take your Kaito. Now I can have Creativity until next turn. I think I can just jam Dothi here. I don't have to worry about creativity until turn 4. Is Kaito really worth a slot? No idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up, Matthias? some tension going on here between like 
this hated Sugu E and Raghavan. But I think I can like reasonably strip their hand with Torok next turn. I can't go for it at the moment. Hey, just Mana War, thank you for the follow. Renin Six is the best card in creativity, factual. Very true. Yeah, if I don't snag the creativity, then it's over. So I feel like I just have to chill for a long time. Unfortunately. I think I'm going to play this as a land drop. Once I hit 6 mana, then I'll be comfortable Toroking plus holding up EE. So I think hitting the land drop is probably okay there. I cut a Dothy, I replaced it with a Terminate, and then I did something else. Don't remember. I'm just gonna terminate that so I can keep holding EE up. End. Fantastico. Alright. Mountain. Swamp. Take that Torok. Because they were afraid I was going to pop the EE, that's why. I got Archon Creativity. I actually hate getting that Archon out of their hand because they could just like persist it now. Modern Challenge is in like an hour 15, I think. Something like that. I absolutely hit a Tsugu here. I just need to stop Persist at this point. If I can stop Persist, I win the game. Or less, because that's three creativities gone. Mew for your last card. It's a spell pierce. I have to block with the crab and they die. Alright. 3 0. I think that's a pretty good game plan against creativity. Just EE, -E, hit it, Sugu, Torok, strip their hand. Hit it, Sugu, exile their graveyard so they can't persist. That's when this run was doomed. Kahira. I guess this is control. I'm just gonna scam him. This is control, like I think it is. It's either team or wreck or control. And they don't really have a good way of dealing with a 4 4 outside of like Teferi. Yeah. It's team or wreck. Spike reinvent Team or Wreck, or why has it not been popping up at all anymore? Or what, why has it been popping up a lot more? It's like Dumpster's 4 color. I think that's mostly the reason it's been popping up, is because it's just Dumpster's 4 color so hard. Alright, you're at 3, by the way. Otawara. The hell did they discard? No, they discarded Nexus of Fate. I was like, where'd it go? Where the fuck did that go? Terminate Rebirth Your Fury? Eh, I don't think I need to do it. I think this Lily might just like take over the game now. I'm just gonna be patient. Just chill. Not gonna cast this Fury. Memory Deluge. The thing about their deck is that they don't have any great answers to like things that stick. <clears throat> I'd be down to play more Lilies. If I think the Murktide matchup's really that bad, then I could play more Lilies. Because that's where Liliana shines the most, is the Murktide matchup. 
Might go up to two. Cut like a Spyro. The Spyro is so great. I love Spyro. Grief. They should get a counter out of their hand. I don't even know if I'm supposed to tick Lily up. I think I probably am. Even though I'm losing the Fury. That's kind of problematic. A 1-1 one -one Shark. Let's kill him with Spyros, yeah. There's more play to this deck than people think. I think Casca Hero. Fascinating. I think I'm just gonna go up on this. Discarded Archmage's Charm. I need to draw another Fury now, or Lightning Bolt. Pizza for dinner last night? No. No, I simply looked at the pizza. I did not actually take a slice. Blood Moon's not bad. I have to counter this. Last spell is... Counter. Kinda <laughs> got whatever pizza I wanted though. I have a memory deluge in the graveyard, which is like kind of problematic as well. But they're at literal one. This is just yicked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're probably gonna flashback memory deluge. This is a weird spot to be in. Or I have lethal, but I need to bait them somehow. Alright, well that was easy. Return this grief. Deal 2 damage to you. Didn't think that was going to work. But I'm glad it did work. I don't really like Dothi in this matchup. I think Torox fantastic though. I think a lot of the removal can go as well. Ob is... Also great. Maybe Torox. Or maybe Dothi's fine. Just don't want like any of this terminate removal. Yeah, it looks pretty fine to me. I don't know if I want hearses. Maybe one hearse is better than Dothi. Let's try one hearse. Because it can't hit their memory deluges. Mm, no scam. No scam, no land. Can't keep this hand, Sam I am. I must have the green eggs and scam. Yeah, this is fun. Is C turn 188? Hmm. I think I'm actually going to put back the Night's Whisper. I see turn 188, I keep. I'm actually just going to play Rogavon. If they have the Lightning Bolt. It does not appear that they have the Lightning Bolt. They run like two lightning bolts. That's interesting as well. I think I just attack. I'm not sure there's a whole lot that punishes me for just attacking here. Without griefing first. Never casting Torok this game, so I think I'm just gonna bin this Torok. Yeah, let's bin the Torok. Take your endurance. Undying Evil. Evil. Take your Shark Typhoon. Play that, Sigo. Now you have nothing. You have two lands. Evil. Evil. Hey, Charm, thank you for the follow. Cycle the Trium. Sounds good to me. Dash the Ragavan. Counter. My Ragavan. Alright, hit you to eight. Buys Kahira. 
Spyro. Sheesh, Ob. Ob is so good. Well, that's how I expected that matchup to go as well. They have nothing that impacts the board, so if you can scam them on turn one, the game like ends. All their stuff is like, I will counter all the spells you play after turn three. <laughs> if you give it anything to the board sooner than that, they're just like, all right, I will die. This is my grave. I shall lie. This is GDS again. Have you ever casted Agonemes? I Agonemes back, a Raghavan, a Dothi, a Spyro, and a Grief one time. Should go see a better doctor. Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Not too shabby. We're gonna take Spyro. It's the single best card in this hand. Yeah, I took Spyro. She tells me that we have a removal spell. Oh, we knew this though. DRC. Unholy Heat. Alright, say go. I hope they commit more threats out. I hope they play like a Ledger Shredder and that top deck a red card. Just ruin them. They like Fetch, Shock, Ledger Shredder, Death Shadow. You punting by not drawing any of their batters. That's the only downside of this deck. Sometimes you just inconsistency gets you, but that's every deck, right? It's because nothing in this deck matters. That's where you're wrong. Red card. Red card. Aww. Not a red card. Well, they're not clocking me for very much. Like, I can take two here. Be okay. I'm somewhat worried about Drown the Lock. I'm going to try my best to play around it. Why is Gigantha into my fury? Or into my grief? Another grief. I am just going to hard cast a grief. Lightning bolt, sure. A top to card. You gone to terminate. I think I take the terminate. I wonder if they top the land. I don't imagine they top the land. But even if I they did top a land, I can kill Gigantha with Fury Undying Evil. I'm just gonna take Gigantha. It sucks though because it turns this on. Maybe I should have just taken the Terminate instead. It's probably an expressive iteration. Yeah, I should have just taken the Terminate. Don't forget, we also have a Gigantha right, right here. Chunky style milk. I'm in trouble. Mm hmm. I don't know if I have the time to fuck around with the grief here. Yeah, I should have. Are they going to have Delirium anyways? No. I shouldn't have taken Gigantha. That was a mistake. Should have taken the Terminate. Oh, everything's awkward. So now I have a Terminate, so I can't cast the Fury. I could just take my Beats this turn. Like a bajillion. I think I'm going to have to. Wed red card waiting room. Wed card waiting room. We're hunting wabbits. Drown lock. Oh boy. Well, can't thought sees the EI off the top. So. It's painful. Alec, you tapped. I played this for turn. They were on the play, it's their turn 6, that was my turn 5, I played the Marsh Flats. Probably pretty dead here. Hand was just too clunky. Didn't come together. 
going to take my Fury. The EI off the top is a perfect example of why I hate Grief in this matchup. And discard spells in general. It gets to the point where we're both top decking. And their top decks are just better than mine. Alright. Two Fatal Push. Two EE, two Hearse. Two Hated Sugu and a Dothi. Out four grief, three thought seize, one rebirth, one undying malice, done. Yeah, the taking the Gigantha was a big mistake though. He definitely didn't top deck a land, or like top a land. I like this hand a lot. I think it's quite good. I wonder what they take here. Like the Fain Death. I'm gonna play Dothi and then I'm gonna bolt them. Now it goes to the Exile with Dothi so I can cast another bolt by sacrificing Dothi. Which may not be irrelevant. Going to 9 already be a shadow plus a removal spell and that'd be bad for me or nothing maybe a terminate on the ragavan what are you trying to cast black red ragavan okay my undying effect you monster. That's a pretty good one. They're gonna kill this? No. They're not gonna kill this. Interesting. Dress down. That doesn't do anything. So with her, I can essentially negate a... Brown the lock, because I can just eat my own graveyard. Seems good to me. Could have evoked Fury. Hmm, that's a good point. I should have evoked Fury, you're right. I didn't think about that. That's a good play. I'm actually not going to activate hers. Well, I will activate hers, I think. The concern with activating hers is that they could drown my Dothi. And if they drown my Dothi, I think that's okay. I wonder if I should have furied this instead, because then I could just crew the hearse. That was the Dothi. That's kind of a dumb way to win, but alright, we'll take it. Um... Maybe the Undying Effects are good in this matchup. Maybe I do want one Undying Effect over like a Night's Whisper on the draw. Undying Effects don't seem too bad. I shouldn't... I should just like not play that Terminate, I think. Math is math. I think this hand's pretty reasonable. How's the matchup against Hammer? I have like never lost a Hammer. Thinking if I want to make a turn 188. I think I do make the turn 188. You can lose the hammer matchup, but it's kind of hard to lose the hammer matchup. I am going to make the turn 188. I'm going to Fury pitch Fury. Terminate's much better than Fury on a card per card basis. This is what we call scam in the biz. Obviously, this dies to a single unholy heat, which is unfortunate, but I have Spyro that I want to get empty handed for. So I think it's okay to do this. They definitely have a way to deal with this, whether it be Unholy Heat, whether it be Terminate. Spyro. Rude. Or they don't have a way of dealing with this, and they're going to die to it instead. Huh. 
All right. Do you believe in scamming like the way I do? Damn, actually scammed. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>